What time is Daddy on your Big 23? We on hot new hip hop. And I'm finna show y'all what's in my bag. First item in the bag I'ma show y'all today is this chain right here. It's a special chain, real special chain. I got some icebox from my dog Will, you hear me? This chain was supposed to, they said it's a signal to keep away evil spirits. So when they told me that, I already liked how it looked and shit. So when they told me, first thing I thought I'm gonna grab this, you know, cause I be having a lot of bad vibes and a lot of bad ass energy around me. So I was like, I'm gonna go on and fuck with this chain. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna keep it on my neck. So I like the way this chain a lot. So if you see me with this chain on a lot, and if you got negative ass energy, stay away from me. But yo, you gonna see me with this one on a whole lot because you know, I be trying to keep away from bad ass vibes and shit. So I like the way this one a lot. Special piece to me. The second item I got in the bag today, y'all do not judge me. My bag was. I gotta keep them woods on me. Gotta have a pack of bag woods. And this right here, these ain't just any wood. It's the blue pack. I'm from the start with my favorite color blue. But this right here, special edition pack. These limited. Y'all ain't gonna find these too much. I got these for my dogs on a trap truck out here in Hollywood. Y'all go check in with the trap truck. But these right here, some blue, blue bag woods. You ain't gonna find these in the store if you do. Shout out to you, you hear me? But yeah, I gotta have me some backwood. Some real good pressure to roll up from Zy. Some runs, it don't matter. Super glue, you know. Some of my favorite strands of weed I fuck with the hardest, I'm gonna say is like shit like bubble, shit like gelato, wig and cake too. It got a little smooth ass, good ass taste to it, so I like fucking with that wig and cake. It ain't too many strands I like fucking with, but. If it's some pressure, I'ma smoke it. So, you know, a lot of niggas should be coming with names anyway. Everybody be coming with names. They gonna put it in this fucking pack right here and they gonna say it's Skittle Elastic Fuck and they just gonna sell it to you. So, third item in my bag today is these bad bitches right here. This was so crazy about these shoes though. You hear me? I know y'all like, damn, shoes. But these bitches, is, when I lay my eyes on these bitches, I say, damn. And hold on, these summation Marzellas. These bitches are so precious. I mean, I put my feet in these bitches. I just felt like I was, yeah, that nigga. So I was like, I gotta cop these bitches. So every time I see these bitches, it made me feel special. So when I put these on, I know I'm gonna do something special. It's gonna be a special day. So these some real special ass shoes. And when I see these shoes, it just make me happy. I don't know why, but shout out to Mason for these making these bitches. These bitches are so out. These are 1600, like 1600, that's it. Let me see what I got in here, all right. He said backwards, but I right, you cannot forget the fucking pressure. I know I said weed, but I'm gonna show y'all what this is. Right here. You gotta have some good pressure on you to keep your mind, you know, with my top back. As you can see right here, you see how, look at the buzz on this bitch. You probably didn't see that from that gun. See, as soon as I wake up, I start smoking. I start my day off with a blunt. I smoke before I smoke. So shit, I might smoke. It just depends on how my day going and what I'm doing. If I'm too busy, if I ain't got time to keep rolling up and smoking, it depends on what I'm, where I'm at and what I'm doing. If I can't smoke in the area, shit. But at the max, I don't even know. I know I smoked up to like 20 blunts or so a day. First time I smoked weed, man, I was like, I, I don't know if I was like 11 or 12 years old. I was in, at my, I was in my auntie house. I was smoking. I got so fucking high. Me and my cousin, and my big cousin, we had to go in the tub and some cold water just to come down. I was so fucking high. I fucked around and got too high with my dog Ruff, Free Ruff. I was in Columbia Station. Columbia Station, I was fucking around. Getting high, we were smoking back to back, back to back, back to back. We didn't slow down. I had just started getting high too, so you know, you just, just being a smoker. I know how y'all know how it is. You know how it goes, you know, you know. When you just start smoking, you just get high as a bitch. So first time smoking, you just gonna get super high. So I fucked around. We smoked like three of them back to back. It's like the fourth one I put in rotation. It was my turn to burn. I'd have had it for like two to three minutes. By the next time they look at me, I'm, I done dozed off on the field. Like, I'm all on the ground and shit. I'm so fucking high. They didn't have to wake me up and shit. I'm, I done passed out out there. Next item I got in the bag is my crush. It's an exotic Chris. This is exotic out here, but these bitches ain't exotic in some other states. So I know y'all gonna see them y'all gonna be like, that shit ain't exotic. We got them right on the corner store at Quick Shop. But nah, out here this is exotic. Cream soda. Y'all know what I use. It's why I ain't even got to 
I said for, but you know, I gotta keep me one of these at all times, you know. Next object I got today is something I gotta have with me at all times, you know. Cause I stay going over my fucking limit with my debit card. So I gotta have a light ass. Shit, this is just pocket ass thing though. This ain't nothing. Just a little ass cash on me. You just gotta have some little money on you at all times. Cause you never know what you might need to grab, you know. So you gotta have a little money on you at all times. Make sure I have a little money on me at all times. So in the mall, I be buying all type of shit. Like I said, I spent 20 bands in one day. I could do that in one store, damn near. So I make sure I keep a little money on me. And then I be seeing, if I pass by and if I see somebody homeless on the side of the road or something, I stop by, pass them out some money. Or if I see somebody I fuck with that come by and they support, I support they movement. You know, I pass them out a few dollars, you know, anything like that. So I always gotta keep a little, keep a little money on me at all times.